What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. I hope you all are loving the content lately. Lots of just new things for Season of the Haunted, Nightmare Containment, Sever Missions, all of our different collectibles. But we are slowly going to be transitioning here into all of those beautiful, sexy Solar 3.0 builds for all three of our classes. I don't really main anything. I guess I would say Titan if anything, but I'm pretty even between all three of my classes. So I'm super excited to bring out those builds for you guys. Now in today's video here, we're gonna be going over everything Iron Banner, including the seal as you can see behind me, going over all of these triumphs that we need to do because there's some extra things we can get for extra reputation and an extra completion percentage for some of our triumphs here. So first off, we got our just normal right here. These are the amount of wins that you've had across all events and seasons. So I don't know what the actual cap was because my first three were already completed here. So this is just collecting all of the weapons that we have had over the seasons. There are 15 total. And then right here is collecting all the armor pieces that we have had throughout all the seasons. Once again, don't know how many the actual cap is, but so far I have 89 different pieces of armor from Iron Banner. Now moving on to the ones that are acquirable via everybody, because I'm sure most people that have played before have these first three done. Next off right here, we have earned points by completing objective in Iron Banner playlist. So this right here for us is Rift this week. And let me tell you, Rift for me just does not hit the same as it did in D1. Super slow in my opinion. It's just the same exact thing over and over again, which control is as well. But I feel like you at least get into more fights in control. There might be a little bit more mercies, but having to wait with all the glitches, the rift going away, everything like that. Completing the objectives is super, super challenging. And if you get spawned in with a bad team, it's just going to be miserable for you. Because the other team can just hold the rift and just keep farming you if they want. And you still got to play the entire match. It's just not my favorite thing. Had some wins for sure. Been fun slamming the ball. Actually using your brain to get some different angles. Doing a little, you know, pincer move. Something like that if you're playing with friends. Solo is the worst. But that's all this is. If we get control back, it's going to be completing those objectives of capturing the point. But for Rift, it's defending, defeating that runner, protecting your runner, and slamming the Rift. Right here, we have complete Iron Banner challenges. Now, this one can be confusing for people, but our Iron Banner challenges are actually those when you go into the actual directory and hover over Iron Banner, it'll say weekly. And for this week, it was complete matches with solar or void subclasses. So once you completed seven of those, you have two out of those four challenges done and you just complete those via that directory, whatever it says. Right here, we have Kremil's Dedication. Super easy, just reset your banner rank twice, which is a new kind of thing like we have with the other reputations. Get it up to 10K, and then you can reset it back down to zero, just kind of like prestiging. Finally, right here, we have Joram's Howl. So this actually, you get progress via wearing different Iron Banner armor. The more armor you wear, the additional progress you get for this triumph here. So you can have a head, armor, chest, legs, and class item on, and it progresses a good amount when you have all five pieces on. By wearing these different pieces of armor, we are also able to increase our rank for Iron Banner, how mine says 731. The more pieces of armor that you wear, as well as a single emblem, then you have a chance of getting a certain amount of extra points, even for a loss. It's something around the realm of about doubling if you have all the other perks, if you will, all the other armor pieces and your emblem on to get your rank up for the Iron Banner playlist here. So that right there is why I'm wearing all of these iron different sets right here. Most of our Iron Banner armor 
at one point, even if it's season 14 versus season 17, it'll have iron before its name in some way or the other, as you can see via all of my armor right here. Now, a new thing that we have this season is an intrinsic perk for our Iron Banner armor, and it has the chance of granting enhancement prisms as a reward for Iron Banner matches. You can stack up to a maximum of four pieces of armor to have a better chance of getting those enhancement prisms. So it's nice to wear all these different pieces as well as our emblem here. You can just go into your collections and flare and find an Iron Banner emblem and then that'll help you gain some reputation as well for lord saladin and ranking up our ranks so we can actually reset twice now kind of like i talked about before i personally am not feeling rift it's just kind of super boring after about the third match especially in that solo queue just everybody's playing it like control no one is really taking the time to think about the actual match because you have to play a little bit smarter in Rift than you just do in Control. So for me, it's not my forte. Now I'm not a PVP main by any means, but I still just would like a little bit better thought into the Crucible realm. It's nice to see something different in the PVP realm, but it's still, I would rather have the option to play Control or Rift, or even just have a random rotator where you got loaded into an Iron Banner match, and then it was either Control or Rift, just at a random number generator kind of thing. So those are my personal thoughts on it. Y'all have to let me know what you think. It's a very interesting game mode. You just got to keep picking up that rift and slamming it. Like I said, as soon as you get destroyed by a team, though, even one or two people, they can just push if they know what they're doing, especially in that solo playlist. And you have people just playing like a control match instead of actually playing together and trying to work to get that rift and slam it. It's just very frustrating and not not that great of a playlist, in my personal opinion. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this. I hope y'all are enjoying Iron Banner. It has been a lot of fun to try and get this Iron Lord title. Gonna be definitely a grind since we only have two Iron Banners this season instead of the common 3-4 that we've had in the past. So it's gonna be a nice little grind to get all of those triumphs done and get our seal. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.